Good evening and welcome to tonight, tonight's show. So we'll be barbecuing a chicken here tonight. Got a big fat chicken right here. And uh, I have never done it. And I'm hoping, uh, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to do a rotisserie chicken. It will take a few hours. So what we'll do first is slowly start to get it ready. So basically it's a free run chicken, a big one. And uh, it smells a little bit. So what I'll be doing in, for in order for it to get the smell out of it a little bit, I will rinse it a little with beer. So that should basically clean it for the most part, I think. Give it a try, like I said, I've never done it before. And it's a first time try and we'll see how it works out. So, style out our tool and rinse it nicely. I believe if you uh, wash uh, meat with beer or it can be done with wine, you uh, get all those weird or bad taste out of it, I think. Give it a try. So, I will be preparing this sauce now to inject your chicken with, with this. We'll start off with put some seasoning in here, the perfect seasoning, and some chicken fajita seasoning, and regular seasoning, salt, and some pepper. And we'll put a little bit of beer in there, so it gives it a nice lager taste which also helps uh, dissolve the salt. So the next additive I'll put in there is butter. So we'll put this in the microwave, melt it, put some lime in here yet. Nice fresh Texas lime. And of course we can miss some good Jamaican seasoning. That's for your chicken seasoning, jerk seasoning from Jamaica. So we'll add a little bit of that in there. And the butter is done. We'll add that. It's nicely melted. Stir it nicely. I hope it doesn't get hard too quick. If not, I'll just... Just to be safe, I will put this in for 10 seconds so the juice is nice and warm. So the butter doesn't... Uh, get hard again, so it gets nicely into the meat. So what I'll be doing here now is to inject the chicken with it. See how it works. Don't cry, chicken, okay? I know it's gonna hurt. Not really. Works good. So we'll be doing it all around. Should give it a nice and juicy flavor. All that butter and that seasoning lime it will make it really delicious so the injection is done so we'll do the edge outside a little bit yet and then we'll add some lime from the outside cut it wrong and just randomly add seasoning from the outside and that's before jerk seasoning Jamaican yum on Adds a lot of good flavor. Canadian seasoning salt. And some Mexican fajita seasoning, chicken fajita seasoning. And this, the perfect seasoning.
Okay, now comes the somewhat tricky part. Trying to secure the chicken to this uh, spear, rotisserie spear. I put it through here. And now trying to attach it somehow so it won't just be flipping back and forward on the first. We'll do it over here. Got some aluminum wire. Make sure it's nice and clean. This way it should be long enough for one side at least. And I'll have a nice grasp grab to it. There you go, that should do it. It is a little bit unbalanced. I think it should be fine though, so. There we are. So now it's my favorite part. Let's go start them charcoals. Okay, let's get this bird started. See how it works. Here we go. Got a birdie. And voila. It is turning. How about that? Seems to be working. Let's see for how long. Let's turn nice and slowly. I divided the charcoal nicely.
it's looking good so far. So I'm getting nice and crispy and brown from the outside. Not sure what the inside will be doing, but I'm hoping good. Well, it is done. I took it off the spear and it is brown. Pretty, pretty brown. <laughs> I don't think it's overcooked though. It looks all right. So yeah, we'll be tasting it right away. It should be delicious. <laughs>